Hello and welcome to another Trainsmold 4 video. Today we're going to be driving the service 1S20 from Rochester to Faversham. So before we get started, please do not forget to smash the like button, hit subscribe and let's get started. So we're just going to set up our safety systems, automatic warning sign, driver safety device and our vigilance. DRA is automatically in. That's what I like about this route. It's automatically in. Set the master key up, reverse into neutral, doors open on the left hand side. I'm going to set the tail headlights to day running, tail lights to off because we don't want them on auto, it'll just ruin a lot of things. We're just going to set up one camera angle today, I'm not really bothered about the, uh... well to be fair, I could actually set the secondary one. Hey, oh, hang on a minute. This is the Creators Club livery. Oh, I did not know about that. Okay, so... Uh, I'll have to find out whose livery that is and make sure I put them down in the description below. I'll make sure we shut the door first before we leave. That is a rookie mistake. I know because I used to make that mistake. Where are we going? Are we going to Faversham? I, I just mentioned it. Okay, so we are going to Faversham. We will be calling it Chatham, I think it's Chatham, Gillingham, Raynham, Sitting Barn and Faversham. So it's a relatively simple uh, journey today. So if you are new to this channel, my name is Rex Tactics. I cover Trainsmold 4 and Star Wars Battlefront 2 content. I do mostly Trainsmold 4 content if I'm being honest though, so... If you're a fan of Trainsmold 4 and you like to see a few gameplay of the routes that you already have, or routes that you don't have, you're fine to pop along to some of my videos and have a watch of them. So anyway, we're passing an old station at this present moment, which is one of the lovely features of Southeastern High Speed. Uh, if uh, people are unaware, I'm driving the Southeastern High Speed Extended version, which I picked up on PlayStation Store for £10.49 during the Planet of the Discounts sale. An absolute bargain. So, at this present moment, I've been Having a little bit of gameplay on the Southeastern High Speed, I did a live stream on the Javelin. If you want to check that out on the channel, you are more than welcome. Um, and we are now slowly approaching the destination of Chatham. I think it's. I'm still unaware on if that's the right pronunciation of the station name. If anybody knows, please do comment down in the comment below and let me know if I'm saying. It the right way or not. Excuse me. <sighs> Don't know if you heard that. I hope you didn't. So we're just pulling up into the station. A three seven no three nine five is closing doors and leaving the platform on the other side. Aim to get in that circle there. Perfect. So this is Chatham. So we have a few uh, trek and treat with trek pass tours signs around here. Um, we are driving three seven five nine eighteen. Uh, yeah, what I mean by a few is uh, we've got like quite a, a decent amount of these signs uh, we obviously have the off signs for realism we have a few vending machines obviously these are the low quality JPEG snacks um, this is somebody else's uh, livery as I mentioned be before but East Midland trains I've got to admit that the blue interior with the East Midland trains looks Fire. That looks amazing. I really do like how that looks. So whoever made this delivery, uh, I will put them in the description below. 
literally hats off to you this is a fantastic livery and they've even made it look like a 158 as well which is fantastic 375204 is the name of their livery fantastic absolutely wonderful so let's head back to the front of our train because we're going to have to drive it to our next destination which we'll have a look in a second is Gillingham but before we leave let's see if we can get a nice oh, photo if we can that was quite blurred out a little bit which was quite concerning but it's fine now we get a nice photograph of this southeastern 375 um from maybe oh no that's a weird abstract view to get it from so we'll just watch the train leave now we'll increase the throttle a little bit so that we can uh achieve a little bit of time to go exploring a few platforms that still looks like a fantastic livery I'm pretty uh, impressed with that so we just got a little bit of, oh hang on what's wrong with the lights oh no fix itself now so we've got an 80 coming up this route is pretty much running smoothly on Transom Mode 4 They upgraded it in uh, Trainsmod 3 and when I found out that the content that you already own from previous Trainsmod worlds were usable on Trainsmod 4, I was pretty much happy for that. It pretty much made my day that. Obviously the announcement of Trainsmod 4, a lot of people were like, yeah, and then others were like, no, which I totally understand. I mean... I was originally going to go for Trainsmod 3, however I had to change my plans for that because Trainsmod 4 came out, so yeah, I've never actually had Trainsmod 3, so it's alright. I doubt I missed much, really, because everything else is on Trainsmod 4 that Trainsmod 3 had, like their brand new experimental features such as lightning and thunderstorms and all that lot. Just going to increase the throttle now, but we're going to have to make sure that we don't overshoot any stations because one of my last recordings I did. So I had to rerun this completely because I was too busy gassing on. That's just me. Anyways, we are approaching Gillingham. And I do like to take this opportunity to say if you are enjoying this video, please do not forget to hit the like button and smash the subscribe button. It would help me out a ton on the YouTube algorithm. And uh, we really would like to have you here. Make sure that this is a nice steady approach in notch one break. I think I have this. I'm hoping I haven't wrecked it. Oh yeah, definitely wrecked it. <laughs> Never mind. One time wonders don't always come. That's why they're called a one time wonder. That's basically when we stop on point where the marker is using step one brake and no step two or easing off of the brake. Pretty much a very good explanation of a one time wonder. Anyways. We are at Gillingham. Let's have a look around Gillingham, shall we? So we've got the Thames Link RLU stop car markers and things like that. We might be able to make it over a footbridge. But we might have to dart over the tracks to get back to the train. So we've got a few ticket barriers over here. Oh, a few are open. Although we've got a uh, secret barrier there from preventing us from going... Oh, no, we don't have time. That's a shame. I was trying to get Dover Priory. Oh, so... 
Oh, so it is saying Dover Prairie. Oh no, we don't have enough time to go over to uh, platform two. It's a shame. So we'll probably do a video we'll, where we'll come back down the line to where we just departed from. All right, our next stop is Rainham. Well, Rainham. I just say random because it's just quick. Well, we'll watch this uh, southeastern part of the 375 go by. We'll increase it to three, and then we'll go four. And then we'll watch the Creators Club livery also go by, connected to the southeastern livery. I'm still impressed with that livery. Even though I've never actually used it myself on the game, it is pretty cool livery. Train going over a crossing is always a good thing. But do these open? Oh yes they do! Oh that's another nice feature of this game. Oh, they were waiting for my camera angle to move so that they could cross. Well, real life interactions, I suppose. You could just say that we're one of those uh, rail cameras that make sure everything's all in operation. So we've got a 129 coming up, but we're going to have to be very careful because. Rainham's not too far from here, so we want to make sure that we're not overspeeding. That's always the worst thing that can happen, because it did to me the last time. So let's just see. We'll let's just see if we stop for Rainham. Oh, sorry. Emergency service is going past. Not on the game, obviously. Um, okay, I do hope if it is an ambulance, everyone's all right. All right, we're going to ease off the handle now. Little camera moving by. I kind of like doing that. You know, like, let me take what a rail camera would do. If it was seeing a train go by, you know, just like making sure that it's going the right speeds and all that lot. Right, I've decreased to 100 kilometers per hour. That's gonna get me roughly into a good stopping position. I'm gonna set the brakes now. Because we're on a 0.1% velocity hill, although it doesn't sound much, it can still carry the train a little bit. Especially when slowing down, so... We're just being precautionous. I haven't seen any 465s yet, even though I do have that purchased and already installed in the game. So let's hope that we might see some. We could. There's potential. I just don't know where we'll find one. I think we've seen a glimpse of a javelin. But we didn't get to see much of it, I'm afraid, so... I thought there was a train over there. It's just a bit fencing. Oh, you know what? You know, and I was explaining that one-time wonder only happens once. It's very rare. We might actually have this. If we stop right outside the stop car markers, that'd be amazing. Is he going to do it? Yeah, I don't think so. That's a shame. Oh, and as I was just talking about the 465, here it comes. About the same time as we are arriving. Except I'm... Uh, messing about. I 
I do like the 465. That train's definitely grown on me in the last few days. Reminds me too much of the 323 and a network turbo all in one. So let's see what this one is. This is 465921. Um, what about the other one? We're going to have to go all the way to the middle of the train to figure that one out. 465923. So they're about nearly the same in number. That's something that doesn't happen usually. But it's quite cool to see. So we'll get our train leaving. Kind of like a wall camera here. Sorry, there's a cross in there, so just trying to make it like real life. You know, as if there's a few rail fans there. We'll probably be one. So we're stuck by the crossing, you know, watching the train speed off. Oh, look, there's East Midlands trains. That's lovely. Trains left. Gate should open very shortly. Next station is Sitting Barn, obviously. Oh no, that's not going to open until the uh, 465 is at least at the station and past the certain point. So that rail tar, sorry, the rail fan's probably just going to stay there, wait for the other train to leave. As we're now heading our 8.3 kilometres to Sitting Barn, 8.2 now. So I would like to take another opportunity once again to ask you if you are enjoying this video please do not forget to smash the like button, hit that subscribe button and comment down below your favourite train on the South Eastern High Speed. Is it the Javelin? Is it the 375 Electrostar? Is it the 465 or is it the Class 66? Let me know in the comment section below, I'd be interested to see. I think my favourite by far is the Javelin. I do love me a good Electrostar, but the 387 takes the spot for me. So anyways, we have a lot of beautiful fields, green foliage around, lovely trees, trackside foliage as well. I, I just like the way the route's been made. They've taken good attention to every bit of detail that was needed. Line side, fields, you know, the trees. And I'm glad that some trees don't disappear like they do on other routes, like East Coast Main Line. Some of them just, like, disappear. Or reappear suddenly, and you're like, oh, was there a tree there before? I never noticed. So we have a 113 kilometer speed restriction. I think that comes under a 65. So I'm just getting ready to slow down for it because we're going to go downhill now past a station. I'm not sure what that station actually is. So we'll have a look. That is Newington. I should remember this from the live stream I did. Pretty much. And now we're going uphill so we'll just bring the speed up a little bit more. Oh, we got a W sign, so that's horn. That just works smoothly. I think what they've done is, is they've implemented the Electrostar sounds from Bright Mainline, but they've kept the East Coastway horn, which sounds very realistic. So the East Coastway horn on the Bright Mainline sounds of the Electrostar, I, th I think just works for me. Do we have another one? Yeah, we have another one. Mind you, like, it does sound like it's also a mix with Bright Main Lines as well. It probably is. It's probably both of them mixed together to make one uh, realistically sounding one. Just realign our uh, seat and position. And there is a 395 Javelin. Why don't we get a shot of that going by? Wonderful. And just right where this crossing stops, I am going to get a photograph. A nice little photograph of the Electrostar 
passing by. Save that. Uh, yeah, we'll also get uh, something from here as well. I think we want to get it from like, uh, yeah, from like a person who stood here's point of view. I do want to get the uh, stop, look, listen, beware of train sign in it. So we'll go about here. Oh, this could actually do as a thumbnail. This, I don't know. We'll see what ends up being the thumbnail, shall we? There was another one there if I didn't get the uh, perfect shot there. So anyways, we're coming close to Sitting Barn now. Do we have another crossing? Uh, it's not really one we need to uh, sound the horn over, but one we have to watch. Because we're coming downhill, I'm going to put in a little bit more brake force so that we don't end up overshooting Sitting Barn. Interesting. It's kind of like a triangle formation, this uh, point section. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, that's very interesting then. Sitting Barn is. Sorry, Sitting Barn is just up there. I've loosened up the brakes a little bit now. So we should just gently glide into the station. Whilst we're crossing this bridge. Is that another 465? It is. It's probably waiting for me to get in to the station. Either that or it's already terminated. And well, let's see, does it have its headlights on? I think it does. Yeah, we're not going to shoot for one time wonders this time. Yes, it does. It does have its headlights on. Let's see what time that's supposed to be leaving then. 9.55 to Sheerness on C. Something like that. I like how they use the um, Southern Rail um, signage for the platforms and the numbers of the platforms as well. But in southeastern blue colour, I, I I do like that. So a very good common example of that would be oh, a lot of lag for starters. Why have we got a lot of lag? Oh, it's just subsided. So as I'm saying, um, with southeastern high speed, they've got platform numbers just like Bright Mainline, but they're coloured in blue rather than green. Oh, we've got another Electro Star coming in. And we've got a second delivery in game, so I'll put that person's name in as well. This is a Reva Trains for Wales one. I do like it, if I'm being honest. And they've put this as 375004. Interesting. I wonder if there's any 375 slash 0 variants probably would have to look that up oh I can see why we are lagging that is a lot of passengers <laughs> wow it's like everybody just got off that's probably everybody going to the offices well this is sitting barn so it's probably on to a few businesses I'm not entirely sure though. Well then, let's get ourselves to our last destination of Faversham before we alight the train from Faversham and it continues on to Ramsgate. Again, we'll get like a nice view of the train leaving. A little bit of force put into it. 
I'm using the normal HUD today just to get used to the speeds on the Southeastern High Speed network. Obviously when I become more familiar with the route I'll try the minimal HUD. Which if I'm being honest I'm pretty much nailing the minimal HUD lately. I'm, pre I'm pretty much doing a good work. I uh, I think in the live stream I used the minimal HUD for the javelin which first time driving the full length of the route in, a, in the javelin for the first time was pretty good. So if you do want to check out that live stream, more than like you you are more than welcome. You'll more than likely find it in a playlist called live streams, or you can just go to the live tab on the channel homepage and have a look there. There are tons of other live streams over there as well, tons of videos. Two shots. One from like a long time ago and one from like about nearly two months ago that you can watch, so have a look around. Either way, we're coming down to Faversham now. It's going to be a long 9.4 kilometers away. So, we're pretty much alright. We're going good for speed as well. I'm hoping we don't get stopped at that red light. Nope, that's just changed. Thank God for that. I don't think I'm going to be getting any more pictures now. I could say that and then I could end up getting a few more pictures. That, that has happened before. Like for example, I'm standing there going, I won't set up a few camera angles. I end up doing it automatically, so yeah, we'll we'll just see what happens, shall we? I'm also trying my best not to overspeed as well. It's very difficult. Good job I noticed that. Yeah, we'll get a fly past for you with the train going through this station. And round about here. Behind some fencing too. Let's see, this is Tinium. Oh, that was a bridge. <laughs> okay, yeah, it looked like a crossing to me, but it was a bridge. It was a bridge. That caused the train driver to sound his horn. That has absolutely no idea whether it was a bridge or a crossing. <laughs> oh, what am I like? Well, there's no point really uh, coming up to 145 when we've got 121, like, within a few yards. So, we'll just hold the electro start at 136 and just brace for the 97 that comes after the 121 I at least remember that from the live stream weird sounding crossing they, that, that's probably a new crossing that's been recently placed there because I've never heard them do that high of a pitch I've always heard like a low pitch crossing in the UK. Never really a high one. I think the last time I remember hearing a, a high pitch crossing was uh, oh, somewhere up the uh, northeastern coast. I think red car or something. They've recently replaced theirs. They used to have like a, 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 a crossing that ran on like motor wheels. Something like that. So they used to like glide across on a wheel across the road to block the traffic from going across. So... Good job they uh, changed that. It was, very, it was a very old crossing. 
Oh, another. This route alone is seeing me use the horn more times than Blackpool Branches. Although, to be fair, Blackpool Branches has about, what, 15 to 17 crossings between Ormskirk and Preston alone. Literally. So, I'm spamming the horn from the pacer. The passengers in the back are like, what's he doing? Okay, so we are shortly arriving at Faversham. If you were leaving the train here, please do mind the gap between the train and the platform, and do please ignore the driver looking around the platform, placing things around the station. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really uh, bothered with route placements on any maps for trains more thought at the moment, so I'm going to have to catch up and start doing a few route placements. Oh, we're going to have to slow down for our AWS thing, which is not here, but we will be passing it very shortly. Ah, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, right there. We're underneath 20 anyway, so we're good. And now we're down for the 15. Wonderful. Honestly, I thought those lights were on top of that bridge and not that overhang there. Just about to have an absolute freak out there. You mean I'm going to do a spud? <laughs> I think here we'll do. As long as we've got the uh, car marker somewhat in sight, we're good. Reverse into neutral, DRA on, doors open. And um, what we're going to do is, is we're just going to switch off the safety systems now because the AI takes over from here, as the AI normally does. AI, I mean. Uh, we'll we'll switch off the DRA now. Uh, we're pretty much solved. I forgot to put on the tail lights. Oh well. And let's see what we got. We got a gold medal. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, there are some various implications of speeding. Yeah, it happens. But with this one, I don't think it deduces your points. So I think we're, I think we're good. So, like I could say, I'm going to have a look around Faversham, you know, start putting in a few route placements, you know. AI will take over and start driving the train. Yep, there you go. Strangely enough, there's nobody in the seat. Have they uh, inserted the master key yet? Oh, wow. That was fast. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look around Faversham whilst we're here because we might not get this opportunity the very next time we're here. So, route placement. As you can see, this is the extended. So we've got St Pancras to Ashford. We've got Ebbsfleet. We've got all the sessions in between, such as Dartford, all the way up to here, which is Faversham, and then you've got Tenium. We've so got Faversham, Tenium, Singbourne, Newington, Raynham, Gillingham, Chatham, Rochester, Strood, Higham. Gravesend, Norfleet, Swanscombe, Green, Hith, Greenith, Greenith, something like that. Stone Crossing and Dartford. I wonder where the London commuter one goes. You know where it goes to London? I don't know. Dover Priory. I'm pretty sure it's. Yeah, this is. Whistable, Chesterfield, and Swanscliff, Hern Bay. Birchingston and it just cuts off. Oh well. Yeah, that train's gonna start going now. We're gonna start saving. Oh, we've already done that. Oh well. We'll probably have another look around this uh, station a little bit more. But whilst we watch this train leave, 
I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please do comment down below what you thought. Subscribe if you haven't already. We are trying to hit 1k. Or my sub milestone of 50 subscribers. Uh, please do leave a comment. Uh, to say that you made it this far. Because it would be interesting to see how many people actually made it to the end of the video. Uh, please do like, subscribe. Uh, just go on over things that I've said. And I will see you all in the next video. Or live stream. Until then. See you later.